Hey everyone! So today I'm filming my September favorites and I honestly feel like I just filmed my August favorites but I guess it's been a month. Um, so let's get started. First I'm going to start off with things that aren't makeup like hair products and nail products. So let's start with that. The first and only hair product I have is my Redken Straightening Lotion. Uh, looks like this. It's the Align 12 um, Straightening Lotion. And I got this at Ulta a couple weeks ago, and I talked about it in my Ulta haul, how I never heard anything about it, or I didn't know if it worked good or not. Um, I've been using this the past couple weeks, and it's my new Holy Grail product. It is so amazing. Um, I have been using Pantene's Anti-Frizz Straightening Cream, which is a drugstore kind, and it's it works really well. But I find that it's good. I put that in my hair if I'm just going to let my hair air dry, my hair is curly naturally, so I just put that in there if I'm going to let my hair air dry, curly, and it really smooths it out and gets rid of the frizz, which is perfect for that. So I still love that product, but this is so great if I'm going to straighten my hair, if I'm literally going to put this in, blow dry my hair, and straighten it. This makes my hair so smooth and it's great. Um, I wore it, just, I put it in my hair, I put it in my hair when it's wet along with my, um, my blow dry lotion, which is all by, also by Redken, and I put both of those in. I probably don't need to, but I do it anyway. And then I wait about 45 minutes, and then I will go blow dry my hair. So I let it air dry a little bit. And even after letting it air dry and start curling up, I was able to blow dry it. Not pin straight, because I, I mean, I don't expect it to be pin straight because my hair is curly, so it's not going to get to that without some serious work. But it made my hair so smooth there was like little to no wave in the whole thing and that's never happened to me before my hair usually when I blow dry it just becomes like this giant poof ball on my head but this really really helps and it's my new favorite product I'm probably gonna go um, get it in full size next time I go to Ulta because I love it alright next thing is nail product I have three nail polishes and they're all OPI because that's my favorite um, the first one is Meet Me on the Star Fairy, and I think this was in my August favorites. There's a really good possibility it was. And it's a very summery color, but it's also a fall color, I think, because it's a pretty, it's a purple color with some shimmer and glitter to it, and it's super gorgeous. I love it. And if you think about it, most of September is till still technically summer, so this is what I wore a lot during September. And the next two are like legit fall colors. The first one is Suzy Skis in the Pyrenees. Um, and this is a really dark, smoky navy blue. And it is so unbelievably gorgeous. I wore this in my fall makeup tutorial. Um, if anyone was wondering, this is what it is. And it looks almost black, but it, if you really, really look at it, it's a really smoky navy blue, and it's super gorgeous. And then the last color is Lincoln Park After Dark Matte which I talked about in my Ulta haul, how I wasn't sure if I was going to like the matte um, nail polishes. I've tried them, they don't last as long, but they still have the pretty color, and that's, you know, that's all I wanted is a pretty color. And it's basically a very dark burgundy purple, kind of a wine color. It sort of matches my dress, somewhat, maybe not. It's a little bit darker than my dress, but it's super gorgeous. I uh, love this color. Alright, so those are my three nail polishes. Now we're moving on to makeup. I'll start with my palettes first. I have two palettes that I love. The first one is my Too Faced Naked Eye Palette, which I love. Um, these are all the colors that it comes with. It comes with nine shadows, and they're so gorgeous. They, each shadow in here gives you the perfect natural eye, which I love doing. And I haven't tried the fashion look, which is this row, but I've tried these two looks. I'm wearing the classic look right now. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to really tell because it's really natural, so you know you can't really tell that I have a lot on there. But I love all of these; they're so gorgeous. And this, these palettes are really great to just throw in your bag, and you can touch up like anything that you're wearing on your eyes, you know, because there's a black and there's browns and pinks and nudes. It's just perfect for anything. So I really, really love this. The next palette is you've probably guessed it, my Mac. Palace Pedigree palette, which I'm obsessed with. I, I literally have worn this every single day of fall. I didn't wear it today, but I still wear it every day. 
It's so gorgeous with these dark plums and the pinks. So gorgeous. I wore this um, yesterday. We had our school pictures for like the yearbook and stuff. And I wore this because I wanted to help bring out the green in my eye. And I looked like after you take the picture, there's the photographer has a screen that you can look at and see what your picture turned out like. And my eyes like were really green. And I was like so excited because I want they are green, but I wanted to help really make them pop. And this helps so much. But it looks gorgeous on any color eye. Love it. All right. Um, next thing is my NARS Laguna Bronzer. Uh, love it so much. Looks like this. And, you know, I've been on the lookout for bronzer that wasn't $32 like this one was, but I haven't been able to find one that gave me, you know, what I wanted. It made me too orange because I do have really light skin. And every bronzer that I've used really turned me orange or like too dark that it looked too unnatural. This gives me the perfect sun-kissed glow. It's so, I sounded so cheesy there, but whatever. It's so perfect. And I don't think I'm gonna get any other bronzer. This is like my bronzer. Nars Laguna bronzer. Love it. All right, the next thing is a mineralized skin finish from MAC. And it's in the color Petticoat. And it looks like this. It is so gorgeous. Um, I got it recently. I got all this stuff pretty recently. And it's a really light pink with some red and gold shimmer veining running through it. It's so gorgeous. My favorite thing to do with this is I take a fan brush, which looks like this. And this is a like a paint brush because I used to paint a lot. So I don't even know the brand of it because I've rubbed it off with my fingers and it's even it's broken. Like it got chipped, like split in half, but it's so, it's just a really thin kind of wispy brush and I just take a little bit on there and then I just put it to like my cheekbones and I use it as highlighting and it just, or just on my cheeks and it's so pretty. It's the prettiest color. All right. All right. My next product is my favorite mascara. It's L'Oreal's Telescopic and the first time I tried it, it really clumped up my lashes and I was like, oh no, I, I was really expecting it to do perfect, a good clean definition and I was really angry because the first time I used it, it wasn't working. So then the next day I got up and I tried it again and it did what it was supposed to do. It really um, defines my lashes and it really, they don't clump and they look really, really long, which is what I wanted. So I really love this. Um, next product is my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Sin, and this is a champagne colored primer. I'll give a swatch of it. Looks like that. It's just really gorgeous color, and I like to use it. Um, sometimes I'll just slap. Ooh, I just dropped it. Um, it can just stay down there for now. But I love to just, you know, slap this on my lids and go if I'm in a brush in the morning because it gives the prettiest color and it really helps open up my eyes. But this is, I love to use it um, in the fall because it is, it gives a little bit more warmth to the eye, li like the eye coloring that you're going to be doing. If that made any sense, probably not. But yeah, <laughs> but I really love this stuff. And, okay, speaking of champagne colored things, my next favorite thing is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Yogurt, which again is a champagne color. Looks like that. It's right there. And I love to use this for my inner corner. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's a little more natural than using a white in the inner corner. I think it, I don't know. I just really love it a little bit more than just using a white pencil or a white shadow. I don't know just like it okay um, and the last two things are lip products the first one is by Mac it's the max tinted lip conditioner and it's in the color petting pink and I wear this almost every day just to just throw on my lips and go and it's this color it's a really pretty basic kind of baby doll pink and it's just perfect for every day it just looks good with anything and it conditions so it's perfect and the last thing is my new favorite lip gloss, and it's by NYX, and it's Pink Frost. Super gorgeous. I'm wearing it right now. It's so perfect. I really like it. It's kind of like NARS um, Turkish Delight lip gloss. 
if you want a cheaper dupe this is really close to it it's a little more shimmery than that but it's pretty close in color so I love this because I really wanted NARS Turkish Delight but it's probably $24 or something crazy like that and this was five dollars and some change so a lot cheaper and really really gorgeous all right so that's my September favorites and I hope you guys enjoy these I know I love watching favorite videos just to see what people are really using and what's good out there so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys soon bye